Hey Walter, this week I'm gonna interview Begayam. She's from Uzbekistan. Hello everyone. <laughs> um, first question. Why did you decide to come out here to America slash Missouri? Yep, uh, since my childhood, I had a dream to study abroad, uh, to see how other students study in other countries of the world, to gain new experiences and knowledge and share my skills with them, my experiences. And this is one of my very important goals in my life too. In August 2020, uh, when I was looking for scholarship, uh, I found one amazing program uh, for secondary school students. Uh, which gives an opportunity to travel to the United States, and live in a host family, and attend the U.S. high school, and with that, uh, of course, learn American culture. Oh, okay. uh, it was a, it was a really great opportunity to me, um, and I decided to participate in it. Uh, and now, as you can see, I'm here in the United States. <laughs> yeah, this was a little about how I arrived in the United States. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I have a question, like. Did you decide where you could go, or did they just like pick randomly? Uh, pick no, um, the the finalists of this program it's called Future Leaders Exchange Program. You cannot choose where you want to go. To go, they yeah. just pick for you. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. This is another question. If you were to like be able to choose where to go, where would you want to go? Uh, you mean in the United States? Uh -huh, in the United States. Have you heard? Uh, of okay, uh, I'd like to mention that I have already uh, been in New York, in New Oklahoma, York? Oh, and okay. in Missouri as well. The Manhattan, it was so beautiful, like lots of skyscrapers. Really? Yeah. Like I never in been movies. to New York, so I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, Okay. what do you expect high school to be like in America? Okay, when I watched American movies about school life, uh, one important thing, like the most important thing that has always piqued my particular interest, it was American teachers. American like teachers. their sense of uh, teacher responsibility. How they take special approach to each of their students. Uh, but at this time, uh, it was only my thought about American school, about American teachers, because uh, I can only see like them eat in movies. But after arriving in the United States and attending Blue Springs High School over here, uh, I can say with confidence that American teachers, they are very like wonderful, nice and kind-hearted people who are full of joy mm -hmm. and positive vibes. Yeah. yeah. Like and always motivate students. That's, well, yeah. that's, that's really different. I expected to say like, something about like, prom, the football games, but <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, how was your experience being taken into a host family? Well, my host family, they are very nice and kind-hearted people. Uh, my host family consists of six members. Uh, they always try to help me as much as they can and support me. And I believe that a year uh, in a host family of such a strong country as the United States uh, will, will play a great useful role in my life and in implementation of my aims in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I guess like what I was asking is like, were you like, for example, because you were just taken to, were, like, did you feel like they were just strangers and you just came in? Or were there like a uh, process of like meeting them? Actually, they are very open-minded mm -hmm. and it wasn't like difficult to communicate with them. And, like, so you felt pretty comfortable? Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> um, what is it some, what's something that you miss dealing with your family at home? <laughs> yeah, to be honest, uh, I miss everything about my home country, my family, my friends, about my school. I really miss those times when we're going for a walk and with my family and eating like ice cream. Yeah. And I really miss my mother's hugs when in how in the mornings um, oh. kissing kissing and hugging me and my little sister and telling us how she miss, misses us during the day and loves us. So yeah, I see yeah, I really miss those now. times. <laughs> you do? Yeah. What's your home what's your home country like and can you talk about it? Uh, okay, my, my home country, Uzbekistan, is one of the most beautiful and peaceful places in the world. Uh, we have our uh, Uzbek culture, very rich culture, with interesting and wonderful traditions, national customs, and our Uzbek cuisine, which is very rich and uh, has lots of different types of delicious foods. Also, where you can try the best plov in Central Asia. Plov is our uh, traditional national dish, mm -hmm. which is very popular around the world as well and uh, concluding my words I would like to say that um, 
Uzbekistan uh, attracts like lots of tourists and scientists uh, all over the from all over the world uh, with his stunning architecture, spirit of harmony, quietness. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your religion if you're comfortable. Yep. Thank you for giving asking me this question. Uh, my religion is Islam and I'm a Muslim. Uh, the word Islam mean, uh, means the submission to the will of God. Uh, Islam is derived from the Arabic word uh, Salam, which means peace. Main message uh, in this religion in Islam is monotheism. Muslims have uh, six, six main beliefs and one of them is belief in Allah. Uh, let me explain what is the difference between God and Allah. God means to invoke or call upon, while Allah means uh, the deity uh, or God. God, God has uh, three representations, and the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, uh, while Allah is a long God uh, that every Muslim must worship. Islam uh, is a beautiful religion uh, which teaches and talks about equality, uh, peace, uh, and compassion. Uh, I can tell a lot about my religion, but it's difficult to explain and express all of all of it with only words yeah, so okay. and concluding my words i would like to say uh, that i'm very proud that i'm a muslim and endlessly grateful to allah that yeah thank you <laughs> what language do you speak and can you say it's a great day to be a wildcat yeah my mother tongue uh, is one of the richest uh, and most beautiful languages around the world and it's uzbek language uzbek language okay. yeah Javayim ishi ki varish chun ajayib kim? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Wildcats. Well, that's it for today. Sign off Wildcat TV. I'm Diana Almeida. And this is Baigon. Baigon. <laughs> <laughs> and back to the studio. Yeah.